Hey everybody, it's Mitch, and welcome to my next video. Today is Friday, which means it's time for another Dungeons & Dragons video. And today, I thought I'd talk about the Monk. Now, the Monk is a very interesting class. Uh, he actually gets way more abilities and special things than most classes do. Um, so, I'm going to break this down a little bit. And today, I'm going to talk about a few different things. But I'm going to talk about Flurry of Blows, Unarmed Damage, AC Bonus, and unarmed speed, unarmored speed bonus. So they get all these various things. They also get a ton of abilities. I'll talk about that in another video because there's a ton of those things. Now, uh, the basically at, uh, the flurry of blows they get, uh, they can get used two attacks um, as a full round action. They, and um, it starts out at two, but it can go to more, which that's kind of cool. At first level, they basically always get one more attack than a fighter would. Um, so that's pretty nice, to be honest. Uh, yeah, since they don't have a great base attack bonus, but they do end up getting one more attack than they, a fighter would, like I say. So that's pretty sweet, because they get two, and then eventually go... Well, it's not always one more, but sometimes it's the same, but sometimes it's one more. It really depends on the level a little bit. Um, but, yeah, so they get that. But the problem is they take a minus two penalty at first. Uh, so that's not great. In fact, that kind of defeats the purpose a little bit. Um, they also get unarmed damage, which basically for their unarmed strike, they can treat it as lethal, and they also can do more damage. But they, the d more damage part doesn't even come into effect till fourth level. The first three levels, no, they, they do the same damage. It's just lethal instead of non-lethal. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's items you could buy that could do that as well. So not great. Um, AC bonus, they get um, an extra bonus to their AC. I believe it's a dodge bonus if they're not wearing armor. But that doesn't kick in until 5th level. So that kind of sucks for the first 4 levels. They don't get anything. And they also get an unarmored speed bonus. When they're not wearing armor, uh, they can go faster. But again, the first 3 levels, they don't get that. They don't get that till, uh well, the first 2 levels. 3rd level, they get it. So for a couple of levels there, they don't even get that. So those first two levels of Monk are, you don't really get crap. Like, those first two levels, you really don't get anything other than a couple of special abilities. Monks really are quite terrible, those first two levels. And it takes a while before they actually start getting decent. Um, like, around 10th level, they actually get pretty, actually, it's, uh, by 9th level, they're actually pretty amazing. They've caught up on a lot of these things. Uh, but, you know, those early levels, no. Uh, now, so yeah, they're, 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 they're no match for a fighter uh, at these early levels. They, they definitely pick up and can take them down at higher levels in some ways. Uh, but yeah, uh, but let's look, at, let's look at what they actually get when they start getting good. Now, um, at 5th level and ninth level, the penalty on uh, Flurry of Blows goes away. Um, they also get a third flurry of blow at eighth level, uh, fourth at eleventh uh, level, and the fifth at uh, yeah they get a fifth at fourteenth level, and then a sixth at fifteenth level. So that's just bam, bam, like one right after the other. There, that's pretty awesome actually. Um, so uh, first their first two attacks get that, but then once they hit. Uh, the first, at first, their first two attacks are their highest, and then everything else is lower. Um, well, part of why this goes up is it get the flurry is they get their uh, two attacks, um, and then they get uh, you know like it, the other ones are actually just from their base attack bonus being high enough. Uh, but their first one, uh, like at eighth level, that's just from their base attack bonus going up. Um, at eleventh level, that actually goes up because they got an extra attack. Um, so that's pretty awesome. They basically get three at their highest. Then at 14th level, that's just from their base attack going up. Um, then, but at 15th, they actually got a, uh, yeah. No, actually at 14th, they don't get one. That just looks like they do because of the fact that they hit a 10 and there's an extra digit. But anyways, at 15th, it goes up. But that's just because of, uh, base attack, um, so yeah, uh, then they also get, uh, I think I think that might be all that goes up. Yeah, that's all that goes up. But 
that's pretty amazing, the fact that they get the, basically two extra attacks um, at their highest, so they can make three attacks at their highest base attack. Uh, that's actually very helpful. I've seen it done quite successfully. Um, also, their unarmed damage goes up. So at, let's see, fourth, eighth, twelfth, sixteenth, and twentieth levels, it looks like their damage die goes up a step. So that's pretty cool. Um, the AC bonus uh, looks like that goes up every fifth, uh, tenth, fifth, so every five levels they get an extra AC bonus. That's pretty cool. Unward speed bonus, I know that one's every third level. So they actually get really fast. Like, it gets ridiculous how fast these guys go get going. Like, uh, 60 feet eventually, which, uh, you know, that amounts to a 90 foot move speed. It's kind of crazy. Um, well, 90, assuming you have a 30 to start. Um, that's what your racial one would be because most races are 30. Um, yeah, uh, and generally also most, like, the vast, vast, vast majority of monks are humans, so very um, straightforward on that. Uh, these guys, yeah, they, they actually get, I'd say their abilities really peak out ar uh, at usefulness around level 10 or so, um, but those early levels are really not so good. After that, I mean, they're definitely competing with like the fighters in that, but like the combat, uh, the um, uh, more caster based classes start surpassing them once you start hitting the higher levels beyond that. But these guys are really best around like 10th level or so. That's where they really do well. Um, I guess that's all I have to say about uh, those particular features. Uh, oh, other than the fact that um, the flurry of blows, that can be done. Um, that has to do with what weapons you're carrying. Now that can be done with a couple of weapons, like uh, I think the long, the quarter staff, and uh, there's a couple other ones that that can work with, but not many. For the most part, that's designed for using unarmed. Unarmed damage only works for unarmed. Um, an armored. Uh, now your defense that only works when you have no armor, and that's the same for the speed bonus. So basically, most of this stuff is designed to only work when you're not using any armor or weapons. So, uh, basically you want to save all your money and put that in like minor wondrous items like things that buff your stats like, uh, you know, braces of armor would work too because that's not going to count against you. Um, you could also get like rings of protection, uh, things that up your like uh, amulets of, like amulets and uh, belts of giant strength, things like that would all work. That's the kind of thing you're probably going to be spending your money on, is things of that nature. Also, maybe cool things like, um, you know, things that have particular uses, uh, things that you can take it, uh, utilize to give your character new uh, abilities that you wouldn't have otherwise, ones that, you know, just come from magic items. So definitely focus on magic items um, very strongly. Um, that, that's probably what you're going to be spending your money on, because weapons and armor, not so much. I guess that's all I have to say. And most of those things I listed were actually uh, wondrous items that you can buy. Like, not that hard to find in uh, Major City. But, uh, yeah, like, that's basically all I have to say about monks for this video. Let me know what you guys think in the uh, uh, comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, also, if you uh, enjoyed the video, consider sharing with your friends. And uh, also, um, you know, consider subscribing because we do one of these videos uh, every week. Plus, we have our description video on Friday as well. Uh, both those videos are Friday. Then on Thursday, we I take you on a journey um, with uh, Dungeons and Dragons story that I did in the past. So definitely check that out. Um, Wednesday, I talk a little bit about myself. Uh, Saturday, then our character reviews. Saturday, I talk about Pokemon, and I have videos on Monday as well. So if you're interested in any of that, consider subscribing. But anyways, as always. I'm Mitch, and I'll be seeing you.